he should do the right thing. He's a rational, functioning, mature adult. The tug of war continued Thursday between two of Maryland's most powerful elected officials over abortion funding. Controller Peter Francho, a Democrat, called on Republican Governor Larry Hogan once again to release three and a half million dollars set aside to begin training clinicians on the procedure when a new law expanding the pool of abortion providers takes effect in July. To handle the influx of uh, women from states that are going to criminalize abortion based on what the Supreme Court is about to rule, apparently. But so far, Governor Hogan, who vetoed the bill back in April, has refused to release that money, effectively preventing the state from paying to train providers until mandated funding from the measure kicks in next year. In a statement to WBAL, Hogan spokesperson Mike Ricci said the governor firmly believes, as stated in his veto of this partisan measure, that non-licensed physicians should not be performing these medical procedures. Suddenly releasing taxpayer dollars for this purpose would run counter to those concerns about setting back the standards for women's health. We are on the brink of a public health crisis. Robin Elliott with Planned Parenthood of Maryland says this comes amid a critical shortage of training and trained providers. According to a survey from the Guttmacher Institute an abortion rights research group, more than two thirds of Maryland counties do not have a single abortion provider. We already have access problems in Maryland. We're going to see hundreds if not thousands of women coming over Maryland's borders. We need providers in every community. So Governor Hogan, who's established himself as a leading voice across the country for the Republican Party, has yet to speak publicly about the leaked Supreme Court draft opinion, about the possible overturning of Roe versus Wade. But he has not yet returned to Maryland to do so. His office told us today he is still traveling after delivering a speech earlier this week at the Reagan Presidential Library in California. Reporting live from Annapolis tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.